Hey guys, good morning. Uh, so today I'm going to be working on my door panels for the 7.3 Ford uh, IDI diesel that I've got. Um, my door panels have taken a beating over their lifetime. My truck used to be a uh, field service truck and uh, had a bunch of uh, big gnarly sweaty guys in there banging things around, breaking the panels off and uh, they need a lot of work. All my door panels are cr have cracks of some kind and are just weakened over years and years of pulling and slamming and leaning against and uh, they've just all been broken into pieces. Not to mention the plastic is brittle just from the age. So uh, I've got to reinforce it. I've got to build up these door panels um, and I'm also going to change the color of the interior so I need to prep the door panels for a refinish. Uh, in addition to beefing them up and, and repairing the damage that's already been done over the years. So this is a multi-tiered process here that we have to do uh, to take on the door panels. So first I'm going to reinforce them from the backside with uh, some heavy fiberglass mat. Uh, I'm not sure the ounce count of my mat, two ounce maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I've got some good heavyweight mat that I'm going to use on the back side with resin to reinforce the cracked areas. Uh, on the front side, I'm going to be using a lighter weight cloth, fiberglass cloth, uh, to build up the seams that I'm going to remove. I'm going to smooth out some of the areas of the door panels that I don't like. Uh, I don't really like where the vinyl trim is. I'll show you guys that here a little bit later. Um, so I have some cloth that I'm going to use to reinforce those areas and or to build up those areas and close up those seams that I'm going to get rid of. And then the next step will be to re uh, to smooth out and retexture the door panels. So I'll have to use some kind of body filler of some kind, uh, you know, like a two-part epoxy filler, like a bondo filler, uh, to smooth out those areas and then get them ready for a retexture and a repaint it's a lot of work. So since I'm going to be putting so much effort and time into these door panels, uh, I'm going to customize them a little bit and make them uh, you know, a little more appealing. The first way I'm going to customize them is I'm going to remove the uh, carpeted section on the bottom part of the door and the vinyl perforated section that's near the between the speaker grill and the, the armrest. Uh, I'm going to remove that section and smooth those areas out. I, I don't really want those areas at all. Uh, the other thing I'm going to change is the switch pods. Um, I don't really like the old toggle switch style push push buttons that are on the switch pods for the power windows and door locks. So I'm going to upgrade those to the later model uh, pull style uh, toggles. And to do that, I need to go to the junkyard here and pick up uh, pick up the switches and the section of the door panel that I'm going to remove that I'm going to then graft into my old door panels here so I can use a little nicer looking set of switches. Now I know what you guys are asking. Why in the world would you put this much work into a set of door panels? Well, number one, I think it's good content for the channel. Number two, uh, I don't do a lot of fiberglass work, so it's a good uh, good refresher for me. It's been a lot of years since I've done any kind of glass work, so uh, I think I'll enjoy it a little bit. And the cost, you know, uh, um, new door panels, new reproductions for these old trucks are very, very expensive. Uh, they're about 400 bucks a pair. I could maybe get lucky at a yard and find another set of door panels identical to these or uh, maybe even some tan colored ones which is the interior color that I'm going to use. Uh, maybe on Craigslist or uh, some other source for used parts I might, uh, I might find that stuff. But there's going to be some cost involved in swapping all that out and fiberglass and resin is relatively cheap compared to buying a hundred dollar set of door, used door panels that already have many miles on them and lots of abuse so I figure I might as well fix the ones I've already got. I also got a, a plastic repair kit that I'm gonna try. Uh, I've never tried this stuff before. I believe it's pretty much just super glue and some plastic powder uh, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can repair the cracks. Once I've reinforced the backside and built up those areas then I'm gonna try and repair the cracks with the plastic repair kit from the front side. And if that all goes well, then I can smooth out the whole door panel and, uh, and give it a fresh coat of uh, brown or tan color for the interior. Once I get them all smoothed out and, and uh, 
all the seams removed that I'm going to remove on the front side of the door panels and get the new switch pods fiberglassed in um, and all the body work done. Then I'm going to shoot some texture on the door panels and then paint the, uh, well, apply the dye, the SEMS dye. That will change the color from the service truck gray uh, door panels that I've got to a, to a nice tan color that will match the rest of the interior that I'm going to put in it. So I guess enough talking about it. It's time for me to uh, to do it. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you what I'm dealing with here on uh, my door panels and and uh, how I'm going to address these problems. So this is my driver's side door panel, uh, which has taken the uh, majority of the abuse I think uh, over the years of of uh, using this truck as a service truck. Obviously what jumps right out at you is this giant crack and uh, missing void here underneath the upper storage pocket. There's also a little bit of a crack here in the pocket itself which I think uh, will be easy to fix. All, fortunately all of my mount, mounting points for the little trees that hold the, uh, hold the door panel in place, the, the panel retainers, all of those are good. I don't see any uh, any ripped off broken ones uh, so that's that's a good thing the only seams at all will be around here around the uh, around the armrest itself so that's the plan I think uh, I think it'll clean up the door panel make it a little more attractive and a little more modern uh, versus what I've got here you know these these old school 90s style uh, door panels could use a little refresh. Okay guys, I got all of the cutting and the hard sanding done. Uh, with the grinders on the front door panels. Those are pretty much ready for some soap and some scrubbing and get those things cleaned up uh, to where I can switch to my air tools and do a little more fine sanding in preparation for uh, the fiberglass work. Uh, the rear panels are not in as bad shape as the fronts were. They, uh, they have their share of road grime and abuse on them but, uh, but no major cracking or major damage. So here on the rear panels, uh, I've got to remove the, uh, the door light. I have some new bitchin' door lights that I'm going to put on all four panels that will match really nice and look really good on the truck. Um, and I've got to remove the carpeted section and the, uh, the pressed-in padded vinyl area. Well guys, that's going to wrap it up for me for today on the uh, 7.3 diesel fiberglass work that I'm doing on the door panel repairs here. Uh, the panels are still drying. I'm going to let them dry overnight uh, and then I can do the glass work on the front side of the panels. Um, I got all my SEM coatings in uh, that I'm going to uh, test out on these panels. I got texture coat, uh, adhesion promoter, and some top coat. I will be getting a quart of this at least, maybe two quarts of the classic coat if I like this color. That's why I bought a couple cans to try it on these panels. If everything looks the way I want it to look after I texture it, then I'm going to buy a couple quarts of it because I've got to redo the, recolor the entire interior, all those panels. So I'm going to need more than a couple spray cans for that. I talked to Kevin yesterday and we are uh, getting ready to put the headers on the 460 this weekend so I'll be getting video of that um, he's really looking forward to that we did some performance testing ahead of time which I've got video of that I'm not going to post yet uh, that we'll be doing a comparison before and after uh, he wants to see what his 0 to 60 uh, 30 to 50 mile an hour times 
uh, how they compare with uh, without the headers and with the headers. We're going to put that video together and I'm going to do the same testing on my 7.3 diesel so that we can compare all of that head to head when we do the uh, drag race video here. Uh, so we can have a good comparison across the board, same test, same time uh, measurements and see see who comes out on top for that. So I think things went pretty well today with the panels. I, uh, you know, I'm not a fiberglass guy, so uh, it took me a little while to get up to speed there and get the get the glass laid out and, and uh, resined in and, and uh, smoothed out the way it should be. Um, I've got a lot to learn as far as laying fiberglass goes, but that's what this project's all about. So, um, so yeah, I really like the epoxy products here I got from Total Boat. Uh, I like the fact that it's one pump per each, and that gets your ratio just right of epoxy to hardener. Uh, that made it super simple. You know, it's uh, it was easy. Uh, you stick your cup under there, pump out eight pumps uh, on the epoxy and eight pumps on the hardener, stir it up, and start laying it out. It was made it made it much easier to do. So for me guys, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe and uh, leave your comments below.